Uh, and I take this from the, the Munster Express. If you want, can I ask you a question? Some people in the audience you, have you, been have there. Have you been to a Wolfstone game? Yes, I've been to three. Three? The, the Munster, Munster Express of uh, January 25th, last month. A report of a court case arising out of a Wolfstone gig in Waterford. A Wolfstone gig in Waterford in a hotel. Uh, three guys go along who are they're from the north. They're, they're presumably Catholic nationalists like you know, most of the people who would go to the gigs, which is absolutely fine. They have an Ulster flag, Ulster GAA flag, which is you know, the white and the red hand of Ulster. They're attacked by the crowd and viciously beaten up because the crowd identifies the flag as Ulster Protestant loyalists. And they're very severely beaten and hit with bottles. Now, that's the kind of atmosphere which is generated at a Wolf Tones gig. Ask anybody who's ever been to one. We were on Liveline, as, as yeah. you probably remember. Was this, uh, people, people were calling in. It was in the Bridge Hotel in Watford on yeah. the August Bank Holiday weekend, 1998. I'll give you the report if you want. Mm. Now, um, <laughs> but we, 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 we were on. We were on. We were on. We were on Liveline. Now, yeah. A this lot of people. Was, this was, uh, with, with with is this a, a court report? This is a court report. Okay, that is not yeah. wrong. You okay, can't well just say it's immediate. Now. There's something we know nothing am, about that. No, no, I, I'm, I'm not saying you yeah. beat up those people. What I'm saying is no, that we the don't, atmosphere we don't which is generated... No, we don't know anything about it. Of course we don't. What I'm saying is that the atmosphere that's generated is a violent one. I'm sorry. Just, just let, me, let me finish yeah, the point. Okay. Now, we were, we were on Liveline. A number of people rang into Liveline saying, I went to a Wolf Tones gig. I brought people to a Wolf Tones gig who were friends of mine from England. And the opening line in the gig was, if there's anybody here from England, F off. And the word, <laughs> the word wasn't F. Now, well, can there's, I just there's say quite there, a number of people. Say, I, I heard that broadcast. I have to come in here. If there was supposed to be a gig, Sandy Kirk. That is a lie. That is a lie. Now, that is a lie. You have never used bad language on our show. Never. I've reported that you were here. You have a third. You see, let's try and hear one voice. I know that it's three to one, but one voice. One voice. I just have to pick up on that because that's totally wrong. And you don't, not, you don't have any right to say that because I can tell you something. I can tell you this in all truth and honesty. That we've gone for 38 years and we have never, ever used a bad word on stage. And we never... So ne the, it's, it's interesting the only thing you object to never, is the use of the never, F rather than the no, sentence. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let me The sentiments I regard as noble. You don't. You regard as I regard, noble I regard to generate as, hatred against I'm other sure, Irish no, people who your, don't I, agree with that's you. That's your opinion. You see, the, the problem but is... Let's, let's, hang on, let's just clarify this. Is, is what is your attitude to... Hang on, Brian. What is your attitude to England? I just want to know. I'm curious. Our attitude to England. English, we have no problem at all with English people. What we have a problem with is the English establishment over the years and their control and their monopoly on the people of the six counties of Ireland. What is a song like the helicopter song intended to do if not to celebrate the Ireland campaign? That's another thing. We're changing the subject here. Can I go back to one point that you made? Can I go back to one point that you made? Can I go back to one point that you made? Can I go back to one point that Trenton made? And he spoke about that rock all, rock on rock all, right? The song which Brian wrote and about a claim that England made on a rock that's part of that's in Irish territorial waters. And it's what gave Sean Dublin Bay rock Dublin Bay, Bay rock yeah. yeah. Now, so hold on. Yeah. What I mean, you know what, what is wrong? wrong? So the language of blowing Just people to hell, no, that's which is actually minute. what was being what done. Wrong? Wrong? What, what is wrong? wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong? Can I ask a question? Here? Blowing people to hell is not funny. Does he ever laugh? Blowing people to hell is not funny. Come on, have a bloody laugh. Give, give your face a bear for a laugh. There's nothing funny about blowing people. Can we Is there something wrong with Irish people claiming their own territory? We do. Do you have a problem with that? Do you have a problem with that? And this is Your use of the notion, your use of the notion that to be properly Irish, you have to support the IRA. No, no, you've done that. Is the wall of people who are Irish support the IRA? You use the Bush. You use the Bush. Everybody uses the Bush. So the vast majority of Irish people don't support the IRA. Hang on a second. Can I just interrupt you all? Some people in the audience who've been to Wolf Tones concerts. Mick. Yeah. You're a journalist. Let's clarify that for the trivia. Uh, you oh, went we out of what? Journalistic <laughs> curiosity. No, no, this is a recent, you know, you just went along. No, we're going to hear the same thing. Okay, what, what, what was your impression? Well, first of all, I came with no agenda. I don't have any agenda towards the Wolf Tones whatsoever. I went out of curiosity. Uh, this advertising campaign that was on before Christmas portrayed uh, an image of, you know, light Wolf Tones, this uh, you'll never beat the Irish. So, stuff like we saw tonight. And I was just curious whether this had, uh, whether, whether, you know, in, in, they're a very politically orientated band and whether they had changed as the politics in Northern Ireland changed, just out of curiosity. So what did you see? 
uh, nothing's changed. I mean, I went along and uh, it begins, the uh, normal introduction. Derek Warfield steps up to the microphone and he says, uh, Boys and girls, our songs are about uh, misery, suffering and destitution suffered by the Irish at the hands of the British. And the place erupts as if misery, suffering and destitution is all you want for a Saturday night. <laughs> and, and, uh, and it continues on in this vein. The ballads are there, but what's equally noticeable is what's on in between the ballads. And between the ballads you get a very simplistic view of Irish history from either Brian or Derek. How simplistic? How do you mean? Well, this is a story, this is about the British and how they did down the Irish in various ways. This is how the British were responsible for the genocide of two and a half million people in the famine. Very simplistic notions. Correct. And uh, what I thought was actually um, instructive about it is the hat is doffed to a number of Republican icons but strangely enough, people like um, Jerry Adams and Martin McGuinness didn't get a mention. Now, who did? Well, everyone from Padraig Pierce, Robert, Robert Emmett, the Manchester Martyrs, everybody. But what I found, what I found noticeable about it was, for instance, if you take Adams and McGuinness, um, they, they're not victims. They made peace with the British. They're alive. I mean, in the land of the Tones, they're complete wasters. You have to, you have to be a victim in, in, in relation to their. Um, the way they go about the thing. And also, I felt, and, and this is completely lucky as an outsider, right? I don't have any agenda with these gentlemen, and nothing against them personally, but I felt the, even the cause that they appear to be espousing, the, the Republican cause, I felt they did a disservice even in the way they went about it. For instance, they have a song, uh, The Ballad of Joe MacDonald, whom I, whom I inadvertently referred to as Joe McDonough in the piece I wrote, but the, in relation to that song, Brian introduces it, for instance, and he starts, he sets the scene in the hunger strikes. Um, speaks about them bringing in the food and to make sure that they don't eat a pea and then he sp they didn't eat a pea and they brought it out and they waited again and they hadn't eaten a pea and all this talk about peas and then he goes on from there and he asks everybody to sit on the floor that this is a gesture that is performed in introducing this song all around the world and I mean at this stage of the night a lot of people have a lot of drink taken and uh, a, a number of people start sitting on the floor, and some don't, and some of those who are sitting on the floor are agitated that others aren't. And to be honest with you, whatever one may think of Joe McDonald and whatever he represented, uh, th th this, this whole scenario, if anything, did a disservice to him as far as I was okay. concerned. Um, before I go to the people who might have a contrary view in the audience, is someone on the line, Thomas, there? Okay, hello? Hello, Pat. Hello, yes. Hello, Pat. My name is Mary McAvoy. I'm ringing from Ring's End. Yeah. I first saw the Wolf Tones in 1973, and I've maybe seen them a half a dozen times since then. Okay. The most recent in Vicker Street about two years ago. And I have found their music to be joyous and exhilarating and professional. These are balladeers. These are troubadours. They're folk singers. They're part of Irish tradition. They're part of Irish traditional music. And I'm shocked to know that I have to listen to Fintan O'Toole's opinion on it when I had to read it in the Irish Times. Okay. As an American, I've lived here 30 years, but I'm still, I'm, as, an, as a former American citizen, I'm in Ireland 30 years, and I don't know if Fintan O'Toole is hung up on political correctness. I think he's just paranoid about Irish history. Yeah. Irish history is what it is. You cannot change it. Okay. Of Thank course, you very of much. Course, Thank of course you very you much. Irish history, but Irish history is the history which includes the mass murder of well over 3,000 people in Northern Ireland by different factions over the last 30 years. Irish that, history that, is what you that, cannot that, say. That, that, reality, that reality comes out of a mindset which was not supported by the vast majority of the Irish people. I'm sick and tired of people claiming that you can't be properly Irish. Can I respond unless, to that? Unless you support the murder of no, your fellow Irish people. That's Can I answer. respond that, to that? That version that. of Irish history which, which feeds thing. into that. That's is ridiculous. literally murderous. That's Pat, these guys have raised money for the That's IRA. Oh, they, no, they, you're making very, very standard you, statements you, there you, now. There have been collections for the IRA. There have been collections for the IRA. There have been collections for the IRA. Okay, hang on. Can we just clarify this? Because I don't want this badly brand. You guys have given no money personally to the 